Marbella in Derby. Fucking hell, look at the size of it. A 125-seater restaurant with a 21-bedroom hotel attached. A big undertaking, especially if the state of the outside is anything to go by. Me, even the gondola looks fucked. Today we explore this abandoned hotel in the city centre of Derby. The Hotel La Gondola was opened in 1969 and was one of Derby's most fashionable venues in the 1970s and 80s, but the business started to struggle in the years that followed. In 2005 the owner brought in the help of world famous chef Gordon Ramsay in hopes he could bring a new lease of life into the dying business. Unfortunately all that he could do was prolong the inevitable. La Gondola finally closed its doors two years later and the hotel went into voluntary administration. The former owner had hoped to turn the failed business into a refugee shelter, but she unfortunately passed away in 2019. The building has sat decaying ever since and has become a hotspot for vandals. Today we take a look inside and see what remains. There we are guys, so we're heading inside Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares Hotel. Let's see how much of a good job you've done. Yeah. Oh Gordon. It's absolutely pitch black in here at the moment. Be careful where you walk and stuff as well. Straight away you can see all like these old look at the old typewriter. Yeah. That's cool. Got all that paint peel on the walls yeah. as well. Love a bit of paint peel. We do. Nice that. I'll be a bit of paint peel. Look at that. No. <laughs> Someone's like broke into the basement, probably thinking this beer. It's not the whole lock off. <laughs> probably after the spirits. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look how sketchy this floor is, though. <sighs> it's dangerous. <laughs> right, where's all the floorboards gone? Is it, what is it like MDF? Like, I'm not sure. Steal it. What, steal floorboards? Mate, nothing is safe. Remember Paul Park? Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, check this out, the actual restaurant. Oh, it's pretty grand isn't it? Yeah, La Gondola. Wow. La Gondola. This is nice. All Italian theme isn't it? Yeah. Check this out guys. Huge ceiling rows, all the covins. Well, he's not saved this one, has he? No. Absolute mess. Check this out. Someone stole the floor from here. <laughs> Who's going around stealing floors? Just one table set up. It looks like it's been proper set up. Look at that, though, guys. A little gondola. Gondola's a little boat, in it. Yeah, one of those things you get along in Venice. Yeah. yeah. Who's naming a restaurant after that, a little boat? Look at these covings though. Absolutely amazing that. One day someone will look me enough to take me on one of them boats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lots of detail that? in here, isn't there? Look at that. It's like old Chinese style dresser. It's seen better days, obviously, but. Yeah. It's like there's all this. It's had his leg kicked off. Hand painted and stuff, aren't they? Yeah, check that out. There's some cool really stuff. Nice stained glass windows by the looks of it as well. Yeah. Yeah, imagine that with the sun beaming through it and you're sat having your, yeah, I mean, your, pasta your lasagna and your, that. And your uh, Italian pizza. Yeah. Nice. Should try and find a menu, see if they before kept. You, before your bill comes to put on the quill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mad to think Gordon Ramsay's sat in here though, isn't it? Yeah. Slagging off someone's uh, cheesy pasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't eat this, it's absolutely yeah. disgusting. Get the chef, look at that there. So they went bankrupt in uh, 2007. Ooh, oof, this is sketchy, mate. Even Gordon wouldn't eat it. Nice though, isn't it? Oh, no way. What? They didn't leave one for us. What's that? A handmade Havana. C cigar box? Yeah, how much were they? No, that one there was 5.50, so that must have been a good one. 
Sat and had a smoke. When did the smoking ban come in? What year was that? That was around yeah. that time. Was it, yeah? Yeah. So you probably would have sat at your table and had a cigar. cigar. Nice. Sun beaming through. Golden yeah. picking off in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? I'm an idiot sandwich. What is this? <laughs> espresso, mate. Very Italian. A shot of tea. Coffee. Coffee, mate. Yeah, that's exactly what an espresso is. Shot of coffee. <laughs> Well, oh, it's definitely had a number done on it, hasn't it? Look at the yeah. damage in here. I don't think any of it's safe, to be honest. Oh, wow, Dale. Look at all these paintings up here. All the cherubs, golden cherubs, eating fruit, in that. I feel like I'm in the Sistine Chapel. In it. The old Picassos. <laughs> Not quite Picasso. Someone drew, someone's drew a swastika on his head. Have they? On Jesus? And a, and a beard? Oh. oh Can't have anything nice, can we? Honestly. That's nice though as well, isn't it? It's proper. It looks really retro as well. Yeah. Renaissance. No, that's France. That's what would the Italian time be? Just nice words. I don't know. No idea. Look at these archways though. Nice. Nice place, isn't it, really? Yeah. Very Italian. V Features, all the covens. Look at that. So, like we were saying, we do believe the place was built in 1969, operated till 2007. Obviously, having financial problems around the early 2000s. Look at this room. So they brought in old Gordon Ramsay, old GR. Oh, I reckon he chilled out here. Might have had a Havana in here, mate. Yeah, oh wow, well, yeah, I bet he did. Wouldn't he? Uh, it's quite dark, one. isn't it, in here? Yeah. Check this out. These are all like quite oriental looking. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Definitely. Isn't it? They've definitely got their definitely cultures mixed oriental, up here. Yeah. They've gone from Italian to Chinese, like. Well, the guy who owned it could have been Italian and his wife could have been Chinese or something. Yeah. You never know, do you? Look at this, guys. Nice features. Still got the pictures up on the wall here. Ches Long. Ches Long. It's not. It's not that one. Oh, that's it just the sofa. The, it hasn't got the built side, has it? The state of it, though. Yeah, it's concrete. White mould, it looks like. Oh yeah, there is a bit of concrete on there. It's like concrete. Yeah. Nice, though, eh? Yeah. Would have been nice back in the day. Outside, it looked like it said four stars. Yeah, did it? Yeah. Like, look at all this bit in here when you walk in. No, that would be the front door, wouldn't it, I imagine? Yeah, probably main entrance to the restaurant, that, isn't it? Oh, it opens. There's nothing in, in there, though. No. That'll have been the main entrance to the restaurant. Yeah, when you walked in here. Yeah, and then your rooms are obviously upstairs. What should we add up and have a look? Yeah, oh, no. I want to see your kitchen first. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's yeah. Go. So we're on our way, guys, to have a look at the kitchen where... Gordon Ramsay actually served up a few uh, dishes, wouldn't he? Gordon. He'd have actually been in work in here. Gordon actually touched this door. <laughs> Unless someone opened it for him. Well, we sound like proper fanboys here. <laughs> oh, I can smell Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, this kitchen is absolutely destroyed. I bet it didn't look much different when it was open. Hey, look at that, though. There's a kid's cot in here. That's yeah, well, weird. It shows about the standards, doesn't it? They were probably cooking. They would add the kid in here as well. Yeah, imagine. Childcare is a lot of money. It is. Actually, it is. Look at this, though, guys. They seem to have an awful lot of these coming from abroad and what are they? security benefit things. A quick guide to special rules for your benefits if you have just returned, if you have just come to or return from Great Britain. Might have had immigrants working in here. Yeah, Looks like it, doesn't it? Look how many leaflets there are for immigration. 100%, mate. It's what they all do, isn't it? Look at this. All for immigration, little leaflets. Oh, it's a right mess, isn't it? Still got the old sharp microwave over there as well. Do you know what? I need to watch the episode of this. Yeah, well, I will do. I will do before I add it. Still got old bits and bobs in here, though, haven't we? A bit of a mad one. You are? There's an old lady there. You know, in case you're bored, whack on the talking Tesco Christmas 2000s. 
Man, I bet you that's got some bangers on there. Side one, Christmas info, Christmas is a click away, Tesco Vin Plus, and <laughs> lots more of them boring things. All the CDs and that that they've had playing whilst they were working. What? Bad Santa. Is there an inflatable Santa? We did this to you, Santa. <laughs> Maybe it was around Christmas time. Yeah, there's loads of decorations. Yeah, closed around Christmas, unless someone's just been through and emptied all the cupboards and yeah, that's where the decorations have been isn't it yeah, that's, that's a big where, walk in yeah, that's where they keep the condiments yeah with the christmas decks dry stores isn't it there's a paper here from 96 1996 yeah keep bikes off there's pavements there definitely must have been someone like asian in here because look asian values yeah fidelity probably did mate probably did it's huge isn't it their office chairs, this is all for the office stuff, isn't it? They like the tapes. Yeah. Well, CDs were big at the time, so I don't know why they were all having tapes. Bit of a mad one, isn't it? Yeah. This is just going to be all like documents and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. The boring bits. Yeah, all office stuff. Bills. So they definitely went bankrupt in 2007, yeah, isn't it? Everything's 1996 though, late 90s. Oh look, someone's doing a ghost walk. Ooh, spooky. Football match, derby. Oh, do you know why they're doing that? That'll be all events so they know when to put more staff on. Yeah. So they, uh, they've cleared up all cassettes. It's weird how many cassettes there are. What's that blind pair Conquer Ultimate Challenge? Do you that stamp or someone in there? Uh, yeah, if they've got it up on there, yeah. Nine hundred mile walkers. What? The Unless they put um, like achievements for locals. I know some pubs do that. Yeah. yeah. The manager. There's a letter in here as well. Should we see what his name was? Yeah. Doesn't really matter, does it? Peter Reed and Sandra Reed. Oh. They're all Reed. Yeah, they're all all different names. Uh, that's um, that's a script. Oh, is this all Did it say what for? No, but Archie Norman, the chairman of Asda's, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Isn't First it? page has been ripped off. Anything else of interest? Little pictures there. I don't know who they are, though. There just seems to be random stuff about everyone, scattered about everywhere. Yeah, the old photos there, there isn't it? Just, all just like, tapes everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's all the dry stores and that. Well, that would have been a freeze alert, it's all flooded. Yeah. That's the end, isn't it, down here? Yeah. Here's your freezers, your fridges. All bits like yeah. that. Right, guys, that's the restaurant bit explored. The bit Gordon Ramsay couldn't save. Now we're going to head up, check out some of the old rooms. Chris. Chris Kringle. Oh yeah, he's had it. He's better days there, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's looking a bit deflated. Yeah, but we're going to head up now. I think there's 40 rooms upstairs around that. So plenty to have a look at up there. See what condition they're left in. The restaurant's pretty cool though, isn't it? I like all yeah. the uh, Italian features and that. Gordon was here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's head up. Right, heading up to uh, have a look at the rooms then, eh? See what it's like. There's about 40 rooms, like I said. There's the floor gone there. There has been some fire damage, it looks like, doesn't it? But check this. Reception rooms, one to ten. Have a look down here. Yeah, we'll have a look in this one. Camellia room, number ten. Oh, check this out. Yeah. I imagine they were really nice though. When they probably there. were, like I said. It said, uh, I'm pretty sure it said three star restaurant, four star hotel, or the other way around. One or the other. They're nice, aren't they? There's nice features in here. Little hair dryers and that. 
Yeah. I mean, they really mixed much, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it said the uh, 90s. Well, well, it said closed, bankrupt in 2007. Yeah, look at the bathrooms. Yeah, they look quite modern, don't they? Someone's had the shower off. Oh, wow, that's weird, isn't it? Oh, it's just yeah. like a ring of mold. That's how they fall through. Yeah, land on your head. Let's yeah. probably stay out of here. But yeah, so it went bankrupt in 2007, but everything we're seeing is 90s, isn't it? Yeah. Which is weird. Let's have a look at another room. Just can't believe how dark it is in here. Yeah. Could you have brought the torches? I think a lot of them are just turned upside down. Yeah, La Scala. Roommate. Wonder what the names they're after. Yeah. They sound like French names again. Le Scott, yeah. Well, it's an Italian Le Gondola, Camellia, yeah. Camellia, yeah. yeah. Is Camellia a French name? It sounds like it. I don't know. Virginians. It's cool though, isn't it? Cool hotel. See out the window now, right onto the high street there. <laughs> yeah. That's why know. it's uh, been trashed, hasn't it? This is just be kids and stuff. It'll just. Yeah. This book's called The Scent of Water. The Scent of Water? Water doesn't yeah. smell. I have been doing those, looking at the baby. <laughs> All cocktail books, got the phones there. Twin beds. This is where you stay with people. Me? Yeah, twin rooms. Yeah, I like to tell them they're Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> so, do you want to come to the place? Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, look, this bathroom's a bit less. It's a bit more dated. Yeah. Isn't it? Still got the towels and that. Surprised no one's had them off. Wow. Yeah, we're that. that one trashed, is it? <laughs> yeah, a few the of them are. Beach, a few of them are quite trashed, aren't they? They're not the worst condition. I definitely think somebody's been staying in these. Yeah. They're like homeless or squatters or something. Yeah, you always get that, don't you? Like I was saying before, like I don't know how many times we've been somewhere and homeless have got there before us. Yeah. Well, they're usually local, aren't they? So they know once the kids have come in and smashed some windows and that, as long as they can get in, yeah. it's a dry place to sleep for the night, isn't it? Yeah. You just nearly go over that box. <laughs> it's just got these big boots on it. I haven't even bothered tying the laces. <laughs> they just hurt, they hurt the ankles when it's tied. Yeah, right, let's head down and see a couple more rooms. I think it's this way. It's like a maze, isn't it? It says there, conference room down here, Dale. Yeah, I haven't heard of a conference room. Big back TV. Yeah, that'll be literally that'll be wheeling it into a conference room. One of them. Yeah, it will. For a presentation. Someone's punched it through or something. Yeah, they've smashed the rooms to bits, yeah, haven't they? Think. That one. This is probably the best one I've seen so far, apart from that bit. Look at that. Oh yeah, someone's definitely been staying here, haven't they? Yeah, not on that bit though. No. Soggy as anything. Look at that though for a perfect fit. I bet yeah. you ever put that bed in there, it felt like a, an absolute legend. <laughs> <laughs> Got a wallpaper and everything. It was quite dated, isn't it? Yeah. It is a good shot, that, isn't it? Yeah. I like the chairs. Right chairs are pretty cool. Oh, mate, you don't know what's been going on on there. Okay. Homeless people going at it. I'll join you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one of the better rooms, this, isn't yeah, it? Definitely. This half, anyway. See more Chinese pictures up on the wall. Oh yeah. It's weird that, isn't it? Yeah. This wallpaper's nice though. It's a bit mad, but like for back in the day. I yeah. Because like it looks really nice in photos as well, doesn't it? Yeah. And I love me a picky. I it's love me a good picky. It's not a bad place really. It's yeah, trashed it's nice. like, it's right, but yeah. should we just check out another room? I'm gonna pick like a decent looking one. Look, all the stuff's just been chucked everywhere. Look, all the insulation coming down. All the photos and stuff on the floor. Look again. at the damage, man. Same old. All the old pictures and that. Yeah. Hey, should we look in the penis room? The penis room? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the red vagina one. I'll go in there. <laughs> Welcome to the penis room, guys. Look at the damage, man. Mm. This will cost an absolute fortune. Wouldn't it? Even that insulation is not cheap. I know. The TV all smashed in there. 
Mad though, isn't it? I wonder how long it, got, it took for it to get completely smashed up. Do you know what? Obviously, it would have been like brand new before they left. It probably would have been a famous uh, like attraction, wouldn't it, for the town with Gordon Ramsay being here and being on telly and that. Yeah, so, yeah. You think so if it closed down, they'd probably put it in the paper. And then, well, you know what it's like, isn't it? As soon as people yeah. know somewhere's trash, well, uh, somewhere's right. closed. Well, there's all holes in the floor so down there. There's holes in the floor down there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's exactly it, mate. But it's still cool to check out, isn't it? Yeah, I love it, the old serving hat thing as well. Oh, for, um... That'll be for room service and that, yeah, won't it? Yeah, for films when people want to make a quick escape. They get in, don't they? Yeah, have you seen that? <laughs> what's that film with the kid goes down in it and then there's, like, a zombie or something in the bay? Uh, oh. Hill, ha Hill House, haunting a Hill House. Oh, that be... That's horrible, that. Here's all your supplies, blankets, etc. That's been emptied. People have had off with that. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know if you can. I'm not 100% that you can. There was no conference room up there. That's packed down. I did a bit across there. I don't know, mate. Down that way? It could have been. Oh, I know where. <laughs> Okay, so private. Oh, check this out. All the office, all the office equipment. Look at this, it's absolutely been destroyed, hasn't it? Isn't that mad then? Because look how wet all that looks on the floor, but the ceiling doesn't look. Yeah, it's come down. through over there, hasn't it? See? Oh, yeah, there's bloody hole over there, hasn't it? Yeah, look at the old fax machine there, from printers. Welcome to the Lagonda Lab. Oh, there you go, look, hotel three star, three star. restaurant five, uh, four star. See, that was right. <laughs> You've best seen the wrong. <laughs> place has been absolutely destroyed though, hasn't it? Yeah. Such a shame. There's French stuff in here, Chinese stuff and Italian. Yeah, they don't know where they're from, do so they? So maybe the dad was Italian and the mum was Chinese and the daughter was French. Maybe they just <laughs> like the food. <laughs> All right, is that heading down across? Yeah, it's heading back down. We need to go up. Don't we wait. lost? Yeah. Are we lost? Because there is one room that we've not seen. Yet. All right, guys, Dale's got us lost. <laughs> it's not even a massive hotel and we're it's lost. Just, it's like a maze, though. It is. It is like a maze, especially with everything falling down and hanging down and everything. Yeah, it's a strange one. But what a place. Some nice rooms left. Well, nice. You know what I mean. Some all right looking rooms, nice with photos and some cinematics. Hey? You want to go across there with the holes in the floor? Yeah, it seems quite safe. Oh, I bet it does, yeah. Massive hole in the floor, safe. <laughs> oh, go on then. YOLO. If stay, I die though. Just stay right to that end. Here. And watch the. Because you can see the support beams underneath it. Where am I going here? Just stand on the support beams, yeah. Oh, damn, man. <laughs> it's very good, they're very nice. Oh, there's a hole there, I nearly went through the carpet then. Yeah, there's holes here, just stay on the support beams. Oh, why are we doing this? It's all for the tube. Oh, mate, this is sketchy. I hope this is worth it. Oh, this is dodgy. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, like a living room. Yeah. Look at that sofa. Definitely worth not missing. That is absolutely something off like a swingers club or it something, is, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. <laughs> Casting couch. Yeah. Look at that table. I mean, I don't know what a casting couch is. Though. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. I think this is more like the house, isn't it? Seems it. Like, it's got a pretty grand fireplace there, isn't it? Yeah. TV here as well. Yeah. Or tube. TV. A little hatch here. Is that into the kitchen? Is it? This is the house, then, isn't it? Yeah, it must be this must have been there, living there. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> right guys, that's La Gondola Explored. Closed in 2007. Gordon Ramsay was here in 2005. Doesn't look like he's uh, done much, to be honest. But opened in 1969, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice big 40 bedroom hotel. Such a shame that it's 
Look yeah. at the state of the place, man. It's not good and so we'll let him off. No, we'll let him off. But the damage in here is just, I don't think it's repairable. No, This will be not. getting knocked down, I think. Destroyed, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed it. Nice little look around, something different to what we normally do. And yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification for future explores. We're on to the next one. And yeah, it's been good. So see you next week, guys. Cheers.